This is SEL0320 representing JVS. So I'm back here again for another review. This is a movie that I was very intrigued by um, just from the amazing British cast. Like, it is such a huge cast. I can't wait to actually bring up the names for you. Um, but this is directed by Gavin Hood, and I'm talking about the official secrets. Gavin Hood, he's done um, a different range of movies, which is very interesting to me. He's done Ender's Game. Uh, Rendition probably is my favorite movie by him. He also did though, the X-Men um, Origins Wolverine. Um, and in addition to that, he also did Eye in the Sky. Um, but with this movie, I'll read the synopsis for you. Normally I really don't, but I feel like it's merited because uh, you need to understand the surrounding story. So, a true story of a British whistleblower who leaked information to the press about an illegal NSA spy operation designed to push the UN Security Council into sanctioning the 2003 invasion of Iraq. So, one of the things about this was Keira Knightley's character. Uh, Keira Knightley's character, for me, um, I, I went through different ranges of emotions when I thought about her character. Um, and I know this is probably based on the true story, but I don't know you know how her engagements were with everything she was around so because there was different moments where Kira Knightley's character was with her team at her job there's some moments where she was with her husband um and there was moments where she was just looking at a newspaper and just kind of like you know self-focusing like this isn't right this isn't like her her perspective was the right way and everybody else's way was it was definitely farce. It wasn't where it needed to be. And then as things progress and what she does, what she does, um, it was kind of like, okay, you did it, okay. But she still kept trying to press. And I, I started getting a little frustrated with her character. And I was kind of like, where is she going with this? But by the end of it, I, I think that I had to appreciate Keira Knightley's performance because I came from the very beginning of it kind of being like a little... Like apprehensive about her even trying this, and then to uh, being very frustrated with what she was trying to do, and like how selfish it kind of felt like it was, and then like the persecution came, and then everything in between. And she plays so well all these different ranges of emotions that for me to go from feeling one way to another way to another way, it speaks volumes about her as an actress and all in, in general. Um, but let me go through the cast though, because you got. <laughs> Matthew Good, um, you got um, Ralph Fiennes, you got um, Reyes Emphis, you got Matt Smith, um, you got what's my man from Game of Thrones, uh, Colleth Hill, and uh, Indiria uh, Varma from Luther and Game of Thrones. Um, you just got a huge cast. Um, even Peter Guinness, a lot of people don't know who he is, but he, he's actually a very good actor as well. Um, but it's, uh, again, this is a star-studded cast, and I think that they all play off each other very well, but I think that, all honesty, the, the biggest weight to this is the back and forth that's really happening, because the way that they kind of pace it, I think it's paced very well. Um, because it starts off with her, yes, but while this is happening, they're showing you the dates and the time frames where things are kind of... Because it, it, it starts off at, towards the end, and then it goes and backtracks and, like, how we got to these kind of points. And, like, you go with a character like Matt Smith's character, who's a reporter, and he's kind of just trying to follow up on his lead, and he's trying to figure out, like, what in the world's going on. Then you have a character like... Um, uh, Ralph Fiennes' character, who's kind of like the lawyer, and he's trying to like, you know, identify where the faults is, where this case could really go, and like he comes off very rude and just like a jerk. But then I think by the end of the movie, like every single character is defined where their stance was about what happened, um, what was really happening, what was being perpetuated. And the even funnier thing is, it was kind of like Keira Knightley's character, Catherine. She she and her uh, her co-worker, uh, what was the co-worker's name? I think his co-worker's name was uh, Andy, played by uh, Jack Far Far 
far thing um we're really kind of asking the staff like are you sure this is right like you sure we should be doing this and it's kind of like no we're sanctioned to do this it's based on the contract and we're going to do this and it, it it turns into this game of like not just espionage but like you, you you question like where where are the loyalties here and i think one of the most interesting written um parts of the script was when somebody was kind of like well you put the interests of the british public and people um first before the the government and basically to your own detriment like you basically you know, put the government, yourself, and your co-workers in jeopardy just for the reality of preservation of everybody's perception of the British people, you know, and everybody in the UK and the UN. And um, it, was, it was a very interesting notion because, like, by the end of it, you, you come to your own consistency of why she did what she did. What was her real reasons? And I think that, I thought that was very interesting because, I mean, um what was that movie um, that came out with um, mm, 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 mm. what is my man's name oh my gosh he just won oh my gosh I can't believe I forgot the movie um, I'm going to find it Christian Bell Christian Bell's character um, what was it Vice 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 so to be quite honest with you, you take Vice, right, and you take um, uh, Official Secrets, and you watch Vice, and then you watch Official Secrets, or you watch the Future Secrets, then you watch Vice. Everything surrounding what happened in that movie and this one, it's all around the same because Dick Cheney is directly involved with it, um, specifically with you know the war in Iraq and the reasons behind it and what catapulted all this not just controversy but ultimately bloodshed and death and like persecution and irre irrevocable damage um in terms of trade communications and everything when it comes between the un um the united states britain and the middle east in general um and it's kind of like this one girl is like, no, I see that this is something that's going to happen. I see that this is something. And it's funny because I don't know if initially, the way that Keira Knightley played the character, I don't, I wouldn't say necessarily that her motivations were as sincere as a part as to her just wanting to be right or her just wanting to feel like, you know, she mattered or like she did something because she was kind of playing off of like one of her coworkers who was kind of like, getting all the clout and getting all the you know the accolades and stuff like that and it seemed like she just really wanted to matter and that would made as a matter of fact one of her decisions to go back and do something really in my opinion is very dumb um in the very very beginning that i was kind of like why would you do this like why would you go this route but by the end of it i think that all the characters go through this metamorphosis and understanding that this wasn't right it's regardless of the motivations like it's still she did the right thing uh, ultimately it's just what does that mean like do you cross your government for your people you know what i'm saying and it's it's a very interesting proposed question and i think that the the, the way that this is actually written and scripted and done i i think it, it plays so well because when you start to unravel the things that are true because some most i mean when when she leaked it you know and the way that they actually presented it, it's kind of like you question was it actually real you know what I'm saying like you as an audience are actually questioning it as well as everybody in the the world of this uh this film was actually kind of questioning it. and then when it starts to be unraveled and uncovered by the reporter team and then ultimately by certain means and even like one of the hardest things i think was when um the threat of her husband i thought that that was very um dramatic and very hard to kind of watch as well um because i was like man i, don't, I really don't know how this is going to end because i didn't remember um but i think that it was acted very well and i think that it was presented very well uh i think that um depending on how you um take into account of the the motivations of the person initially it might dictate your your thoughts on it um but i think that this is in the vein of spotlight i think this is in the vein of vice i think this is in the vein of some really good 
you know, historic piece films um, that I think are very important and imperative to, to be brought up. Um, so I, I wouldn't give it anything less than an 8 out of 10. I actually really did find a lot of value in this film. Uh, especially the more I thought about it and it's been two days now since I've seen it so definitely go and check it out um, it's not gonna be for everybody because if you don't want to see a period of peace and you don't want to go through all this you know retained information because I mean to be honest with you like first time I was watching I was kind of man like whoa this is a lot of information like, I'm definitely missing stuff um, but more I kind of like delve into it and kind of like listen and observe but if you're looking for just an action quick you know then maybe Hobbs and Shaw is what you're kind of looking for. Um, but I think that the performances in Vice may have been stronger, but I think that as a collective, kind of like Spotlight, I think that they work from a cohesion standpoint very well. And I definitely think Keira Knightley definitely led the charge with that, and as far as Ralph Fiennes as well. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this review. I'll talk to you guys soon. Make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that bell button, keep it locked. JVS, we ain't gonna stop. Have a blessing, guys. Peace.